Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this interaction, we will discuss how polynomials can be used as functions for designing CAM follower mechanisms. Let's discuss the prerequisites and the outcomes of this video interaction. Before starting this video, you should know that what are SVAG diagrams for designing a CAM follower mechanism. You should also be aware of the CAM design fundamental law and its practical application. After successfully following this interaction, you will be able to know that how polynomial functions can be designed, can be used for CAM designing. And secondly, if you are given a specific CEP, specific uh, critical extreme position segment for a CAM design, you can easily define what are the boundary conditions for that segment. And then you can also estimate the order and degree of polynomial function based on the stated boundary conditions. So based on your mathematics knowledge, a polynomial function something is look, looks like something this, where the number of terms are shown between the sign plus or minus. X is taken as the independent variable with its power increasing from zero till n and c0 c1 c2 c3 these are the constants or coefficients which are constants and s here we are calling it s because we are estimating the displacement of a cam design so based on the design requirements you can define the displacement for a given cam profile and the cam profile or svag diagram of the cam for a given segment will behave based on the polynomial function s for the cam design can be replaced by theta by beta where beta is the duration of that segment and theta is the angle for that duration which moves from zero to beta so always remember that beta remains constant for a specific segment and secondly this will be a constant and secondly the theta that would be moving from zero to beta okay and the increment in theta from zero can be any one based on your requirements. You can also define the independent axis into time by just uh, dividing the relationship or multiply applying depending on where theta or beta or t what are you are looking for with your its angular velocities or square of it or cube cube of it depending on the position velocity acceleration or check. So, S here is, as I told you, the displacement. So, let's see further that how these coefficients can be determined because these coefficients will be determined using the boundary conditions. So, if I take again the general form of this polynomial and we have some boundary conditions depending on the design criteria given to us and then we will use the fundamental law of cam design in order to define those boundary conditions and then put them in their equations and as displacement is given here we have to take derivative of this displacement in order to get velocity acceleration or jerk so for example, if in this equation I have the displacement 
for velocity i will be taking the derivative of the displacement with respect to theta so the displacement derivative with respect to theta will give me the velocity and here x is given by theta by beta okay so the velocity will automatically delete this term and this will remain the only constant here and then we will have 2 c2 x then 3 c3 x square and likewise okay and uh, till it has n c n x n minus 1 okay so when you will take the derivative of theta by beta remember that there will be one additional term 1 by beta coming out from the solution so they, that would be multiplied with the whole of the equation similarly for acceleration i write it here a it would will it will have 2 c2 plus because this term will be eliminated 6 c3 x and similarly it will keep on moving n into n minus 1 cn x n minus 2 and likewise we will take another derivative to find the jerk so that would give the four equations for us and these c1 c2 c3 4 will be calculated using the number of boundary conditions we have okay so let's take our example to see how the boundary conditions work so here we have a, a situation where we have a rise between two dwells so that first the dwell is low and then the second at second the dwell is at high in between there is a rise so if i see it here this is the rise function where we have to find the polynomial we are looking for this is the dwell we already know that how will it behave this is the high dwell so this is the height the dwell is reaching so based on the reference here okay so if i see here uh, here we know that this is the start of the segment we again define this segment as beta so in beat this segment the total degree is 90 based on this and the variable in this equation will be theta which will be starting from zero and it will be ending at 90 so it will have many values in between 0 and 90 so uh, if i see when theta is 0 here the displacement is 0 when theta is 0 again here this is the velocity graph so velocity will be 0 and the theta is 0 here the acceleration will be 0 so the displacement velocity and acceleration all are 0 when theta is 0 here okay similarly when theta is 90 displacement is h now velocity is 0 again and acceleration is 0 because in 12 follower is not moving so based on this information we have three boundary conditions when theta is 0 and three boundary conditions when theta is equal to 90 degrees or beta so based on this six boundary conditions if we try to put them in the polynomial the polynomial order and degree we will get will be up till c not from c not till c5 because c till c not to c5 it will take it will take six coefficients six unknowns so based on the boundaries we can calculate six unknowns so the degree of the polynomial will be five so highest power of the polynomial will be five this is degree and the order or the number of terms available in the polynomial will be 6. So if I quickly see it here, the displacement will be equal to C0 plus C0 1 x plus C0 2 x 2 plus C0 3 x cube plus C4 x 4 plus C5 x 5. So this will be the polynomial for it. Uh, this rise segment and using these boundary conditions inserting these boundary conditions in displacement velocity and acceleration we will 
find these c naughts and if we are we know these c naughts we can uh, plot this displacement function okay so if i neatly try to see it here we have c order 5 polynomial and degree is 6 so if after making this polynomials in terms of theta by beta if we plot it it will look like something this so this function which i have shown here these functions uh, are the polynomials based on these boundary conditions these are following those boundary conditions and you will also see that they are following the fundamental cam law that acceleration is zero when there are dwarfs okay and if i write this term in terms of theta by beta this would be this polynomial so first derivative will give velocity c naught will vanish away the second derivative will give acceleration c1 will vanish away okay so which tells you how the polynomial functions can be utilized for uh, using uh, rise or fall of cam follower mechanism so just at the end i also give you a, a situation in which you have to define a full polynomial function for a fall mechanism or, or a segment which is in fall so in this situation the dwell is high in the beginning and dwell is low at the end and in between there is a segment of fall so if this is the situation in your opinion what will be the order and degree of the polynomial used uh, based on the boundary of conditions available thank you for watching this if you have any queries or issues just write them in the comments and also don't forget to subscribe it if you want to follow the future videos and knowledgeable interactions thank you